One of my favorite parts of the country is the area just south of Pittsburgh in the southwestern part of Pennsylvania. With family and close friends in the area, I have spent an inordinate amount of time in California, in Brownsville, home of haunted Nemecolin Castle, getting tattooed at Second Skin in Charleroi, and eating way too much Pramonti's Brothers sandwiches, Armando's Pizza, and open-faced sandwiches at Rise. I love the area, and it's a place of many mysteries and legends, from mine disasters to haunted houses. But one of the great mysteries is that of the ghost bomber that vanished over the region 60 years ago and has never been found. On January 31, 1956, Major William Dotson and five crew members and passengers were flying a B-25 bomber over the Pittsburgh area on a routine training flight from Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada to pick up a cargo of airplane parts at Olmsted Air Force Base in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. During the cross-country flight, the plane refueled at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma and Selfridge Air Force Base in Michigan. The mission was going smoothly until around 4 p.m. when the crew reported a loss of fuel and asked for permission to land at the Greater Pittsburgh Airport. But when Major Dotson realized that their remaining fuel wouldn't last, he asked to land at the Allegheny County Airport instead. At 4.11, with his fuel supply almost depleted, his engine malfunctioning, and with no available airstrips in range, Dotson was forced to make a quick decision. As the B-25 bomber glided silently over the Homestead High-Level Bridge, now Homestead Grays Bridge, Dotson made a wheels-up splash landing into the Monongahela River. All of the crew members survived the crash, although only four of them were rescued from the icy water. After floating with the plane for 11 minutes, it sank beneath the water. Two men, Captain Gene Ingraham and Staff Sergeant Walter Sosi, drowned while trying to swim to shore. Their bodies were not found until months later. As the Coast Guard arrived on the scene, a cutter, Forsythia, managed to snag the wing of the submerged plane while dragging its anchor. But the line slipped off and the B-25 sank deeper into the river. The U.S. Coast Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers searched the river for 14 days, but the B-25 bomber was never seen again. No one could explain how a 15-foot-high B-25 bomber could go missing in just 20 feet of water, but the fact remains that it has never been found after all these years. It remains a mystery that plagues researchers and military buffs to this day. Conspiracy theories abound. Some believe that the bomber carried dangerous cargo and that the military secretly recovered the plane's wreckage immediately after the landing to hide its true contents. And the contents? A nuclear bomb, some say, or even a UFO from Nellis Air Base, home of the mysterious Area 51. Others say that the plane carried Soviet agents at the height of the Cold War or Las Vegas showgirls who were on their way to entertain senators in Washington, D.C. Others offer a more mundane solution to the mystery of the vanished plane. The river, polluted by decades of industrial mills, ate away the aluminum exterior of the craft long ago, leaving only the engines and landing gear behind, making it too difficult to find. In recent years, a team of volunteers worked with the Heinz History Center in Pittsburgh to find the elusive plane. But despite an extensive search, sonar scanners, and remote-controlled underwater cameras, no trace of the plane was found. The Ghost Bomber remains one of Southwest Pennsylvania's most enduring unsolved mysteries.